In this video we are going to create a sunflower like spiral just by using the move and duplicate feature in Affinity Photo. Make sure you watch until the end to see the bonus tip. We are going to start by creating a circle first. Let's make sure it's located at the top of the canvas. The size is not so important, just be aware that this circle will determine the size of the circle in the outer ring. I am then going to make a duplicate of the circle, which we can do very quickly by holding the Alt or Option key while we drag it. Let's move this to the bottom part of the canvas and make sure it is aligned perfectly with the top circle. The circle we just created is selected in the Layers panel and I can hold the Shift key and click on the top circle layer to add it to our selection. Now that both of the circles are selected, we can press the Command or Ctrl G key to make a group. Now comes the fun part. While the group is selected, press the Enter key. This will open up the Move and Duplicate window. First, let's turn on the Duplicate checkbox and enter 10 at the number of copies. This will create 10 duplicates of our group. We can't see them yet as they are all on top of each other. But when I enter a rotation value, in this case 20, notice now how we have 10 copies, each with a 20 degree rotation offset. Let's press OK to apply this action. Perfect. Let's go to the Layers panel and shift click on the top layer, which will select all the layers we just created. We need to group them and this time I will use the context menu, but you could of course press Ctrl or Command G to create the group. Once we have our group, let's press enter again. I'll enable the duplicate checkbox again and leave it at 1 for the time being. First, let's set a scale. I'll start with 80% and when I leave the scale input, we will see the result. In my case, this looks good, but you just want to make sure that there is a small overlap with the inner and the outer circles. So depending on your initial circle size and the distance, you might need to fine tune the scale. For the copies, I'm going to enter 20. This looks pretty cool already. To get the spiral effect, we can enter a value at the rotation. Usually a value around 10 works best for this setup. But feel free to experiment with the rotation and the scale values. As you can see, by applying different values, we can get different kind of spirals. Once you're happy, press the OK button. Pretty awesome. And that is how you can create these spiral designs. By the way, you can also use different shapes. For example, let's use these diamonds. Just as before, I'm going to apply a move and duplicate until the shapes are repeated in a circle. Next, I'll group everything and then on the move and duplicate, I'm going to adjust the scale and the rotation values until I have something that looks cool. Before I leave you, here is a bonus tip. And if you like this video so far, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. So instead of going inwards, we can also have the elements grow in a spiral way. For example, I can make the first spiral we created earlier smaller, and then after centering it, I'll select the outer circle group. When we open up the move and duplicate dialog by pressing enter, this time I'll use a scale value of 120% which makes the circles bigger and grow outwards. Let's find a nice value for the number of copies and then modify the rotation as we see fit. I think a value of 30 looks best and I'll keep the rotation at 30. I hope you liked this quick video and thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for your support and see you in the next video.